Grew up in Memphis. I have 14 brothers and sisters. My dad was abusive to me, to all my brothers and sisters, and to my mom. Mom and my family moved to St. Louis. When I was 17 to younger, we moved at least about 16, 20 times. She, would, she didn't want to pay the rent. She didn't want to pay anything. Um, she would just fraudulently use our names and our social security number. I didn't know she would do something like that to me or to any of my brothers and sisters. When I moved, when I was living across the street from Morningstar Church, um, I saw the church and I knew church can help people. We needed food, so I went to Morningstar Church and that time and day they had donuts, so I was there just for the food, the donuts and stuff like that. And went home that next Sunday. I said, I just want to go to church. So I went to the 915 service and I started liking it. I started liking the atmosphere. A couple months later, I wanted to I wanted to serve. So I served in the parking lot and that's when I met Mike and me and Mike had conversations. And when I moved away, Mike reached out to me saying, um, if I need anything, just contact him. And I did, and I said, I was missing Morningstar. And he said, well, if that's the issue, I can just come pick you up um, Sundays and we can drop you off at home. When Mike Zink started picking me up from back and forth to church, which is like a 35 minute drive, so we had plenty of time to talk. We started growing in, I met Cheryl Zink and the two boys, Ethan and Sean Zink, and we got really close. My mom did not, not like it at all, so I said, well, I'm just going to just move out of the house. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to just leave. And then well, Mike offered me to stay with them. Um, they told me, hey, you can stay here as long as you need. One night, I was in bed, and I said, I just don't feel equal. I don't feel like, I even know I feel as a family, but I don't feel like, I'm we're together. So one morning I got up and I went to Cheryl and I said, hey, can um can I take the name Zinc? I want to take the name Zinc. And she said, yeah, you can. And at that point, like lyrically, I felt like a lot of burden has been lifted off my shoulders. I felt I felt that it's I'm like a new person, like an, I can start a new life. It was all in God's plan to um, start something new for me because I used I used to ask like is God really there? Is he putting me through this? And if I didn't meet Mike in that parking lot, none of this would have happened. And God put Mike there and me there for a reason.